going on everybody welcome back to another episode of double dribble and in today's episode we're going to be talking about sharif o'neal and uh what i think the issue is with him and why he's not uh you know playing up to his potential so far this season um but before i get into that i first want to say um you know if you're a fan of basketball enjoy talking basketball um hit that like button hit the subscribe button in this channel we're all about talking basketball talking about different topics um, from NBA, college, high school, all different realms of basketball. Um, we enjoy talking about it and love having discussions with people in the comments. So if you're a fan of that and want to be a part of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button in this video, and let's get right into the video. So today I'm going to be talking about Sharif O'Neal and how he's just, you know, not really performing or playing up to uh, what people thought he was going to play like. Um, before I get into that, I'll give you a little background of Sharif and um, you know his career in college and what he's doing this this season. Um, so first, in the 2019-2020 season, he was a redshirt freshman at UCLA. Um, he had to redshirt the first year because he had hope, open heart surgery. Um, so for him to even be back and playing college basketball at the D1 level. Um, I give him a ton of props and I know it was a long road of uh, recovery for him and like I said I give him a ton of props for even being able to play and compete at the division one level after having open heart surgery. So in his um, redshirt freshman year at UCLA he played 13 games. He only averaged 2.2 points and 2.9 rebounds per game. Um, his highest scoring games were 8 points. Um, now looking at there after that he decided to transfer to LSU. You know uh, live up the legacy of his dad and hopefully you know just get a fresh start after the surgery and everything like that and um, just you know start fresh and just start playing how he knows he can play unfortunately um, that's just not the not the case this year um, he has been struggling all year he has not been playing as well as he knows he can um, the LSU Tigers they have played 17 game this year Sharif has only played in 10 of them in those 10 games he's averaging 14.6 uh, minutes a game and he is just you know just not performing very well he's shooting 9 of 24 from the field for 37 percent uh, he's shooting 2 of 11 from 3 for 18 percent um, he's giving him 2.8 points per game and 4.4 rebounds so you know the 4.4 rebounds in only 14 minutes a game, 15 minutes a game. That's you know that's pretty solid. He's he's giving them that, but he's just not scoring. He's not shooting the ball well, and just overall just not just not playing the best. I mean, if you look at it, even from a standpoint of doing things other than scoring, um, he has four turnovers here and zero assists. So uh, I mean. It has zero assists on the whole in 10 games with four turnovers. That's just not a good look. Um, the first thing I want to get into what I think he needs to uh, work on or what the issue is, is just his body. I think he still has it. I mean, he's 6'10". Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's listed at here. He doesn't, doesn't have his weight in front of me, but he's 6'10". And I just feel like he hasn't fully grown into his body. I mean, if you look at these clips of these games, he's falling all over the place. He's getting pushed around. Uh, rebounds that he does get, he's just getting them ripped right over his hands. He's falling down on rebounds for getting travel calls. Like, I think he just needs to, this offseason, get in the weight room, develop his body, and just be able to play more physical be able to you know be coordinated in a 610 body and just be able to withstand the physicality of the d1 level i think in high school he's able to get away with it just because he's more athletic he was just taller than everybody else um that he didn't have to be as physical he could just shoot over people or just drive right around people and you know dunk on them things like that we're now at the d1 level uh, i think that's really showing that that's a glaring weakness in his game is that his body he needs to um, get in the weight room, get bigger, get stronger, so you can play um, at the Division One level with the physicality that it is. And the second biggest issue I think is that, um, like I kind of stated before, is shooting. I mean, he's shooting 37% from the field, uh, which is not good at all. He's shooting 18% from three, which is fine because I mean he's 6'10", you know, should be playing more so on the block. Um, you know, dry, looking to drive and finish, but he's not even doing that. I mean, he's only shooting 37% from the field, um, and other than that, he's just he's just not really 
Um, just not really giving you much else. Like I said, the 4.4 rebounds is pretty good, but he's not giving you any assists. He's free throw percentage, he's only shooting 50% from the free throw line. Um, defense, he's getting blown by, picking up dumb fouls because he can't stay in front. Um, things like that. So, you know, I just think for him, he just, like I said, the pain thing for him is just um, developing his body. And I know he did have the open heart surgery, so maybe he's not 100% recovered or fully back to his normal self. Um, he has stated multiple times that he is, though, that he's back to 100% and that he's good to go. But um, maybe that's not the case um, yet. Maybe he still has, is just trying to get back in his groove. But. You know, that's just kind of my two cents on it, is that, like I said, he, he really needs to develop his body, take the time this offseason, get back, um, get in the weight room, get his weight up, get his, you know, strength up so he can play more physical, and, you know, just be a 6'10 guy that can, you know, drive and finish, can post up and finish. He doesn't even need to shoot threes, he just needs to finish in the paint and grab rebounds, and he should be good to go. Um, hoping he can have a, have a good season next year at LSU. So. Hopefully he can by that point guard multiple positions. So um, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Sharif O'Neal, what you think the main issue is. Um, was transferring not a good idea for him? Should he stayed at LSU, or, I mean UCLA and uh, seen what he can do there instead of going to LSU? Um, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.